Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Rich here on this Tuesday morning. It is the ninth day of October, and obviously the focus of this video is going to be Hurricane Michael, churning northward and growing stronger in the Gulf of Mexico. Headline this morning from the National Weather Service in Tallahassee said, and I quote, potentially catastrophic Hurricane Michael continues towards the northeastern Gulf Coast. Catastrophic, too strong a word? I don't think so. We're talking about a Category 3 hurricane at landfall, maybe 115 to 120 mile an hour winds. You know, where is it going? Uh, so, you know, maybe Panama City seems to be the center line, but it could be Destin, could be uh, Apalachicola, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and by the way, everybody thinks winds is the big thing in a hurricane. It's not. Storm surge. That's the big thing in a hurricane. And this one could be historic with Michael. So I have the latest from the National Hurricane Center, the advisory coming in right now on timing, on track, and on intensity. And a lot of you are wondering, uh, what is it going to mean at my house? Well, some of you watch this video from Dothan and Enterprise. The Dothan Enterprise weather is going to be vastly different and a lot worse than the weather, let's say, in Montgomery or Lake Martin. I'll do my best to try to pin it down for you on winds and rainfall and that kind of stuff. Let's get started. Here's Michael on the satellite this morning with 90 mile an hour winds growing stronger. A kind of a medium sized hurricane, not a large one, but it reminds me of the size of Charlie back in 2004. There it is on future radar as we take you through the day today and the night tonight and the morning tomorrow into midday tomorrow as it makes landfall along the Florida panhandle, then into southeastern Georgia during Wednesday night into the wee hours of Thursday morning. And one more close up here storm coming, it seems to come ashore somewhere between, let's say, Destin and uh, Apalachicola. Panama City would be the center line. Michael then accelerates to the northeast through the Carolinas and becomes a powerful storm out in the Atlantic after that. Hurricane warning in effect from the Alabama-Florida border westward to the Suwannee River, including the Big Bend area. There is a tropical storm warning on the Alabama coast and a hurricane watch. And this is the close-up on the cone showing 120 mile an hour winds perhaps around the landfall time. Don't look at the center line necessarily. This would be uh, Wednesday afternoon early and and then 1 a.m. on Thursday, still a tropical storm in central Georgia, moving rapidly off to the northeast at that hour. This is the GFS now showing 1, uh, 7 p.m. Wednesday. It's a little slower than the National Hurricane Center um, uh, timing and probably too slow, but it shows a landfall at the same place that the European does, and that would be right along the, the uh, center line that the National Hurricane Center has been projecting along the, the Florida panhandle. Now, the winds depend on where you live, on how strong they could be in the Montgomery area, maybe 20 plus, then rapidly increasing to up to 40 around uh, Troy and maybe 50 or more around Ozark and then 60 or more around Dothan. And then uh, as far as rainfall goes, eight inches or more near the path of the storm uh, from uh, landfall in through uh, southwest Georgia, and then maybe one to two inches around the Troy area and then maybe less than an inch uh, west of I-65. Behind the front, behind the, the cold front that will drive the storm, some nice relief pouring into the state on Friday. A big change with lower humidity and some very nice air. And I think by Saturday morning, our low temperatures are in the low 50s across, uh, let's say, east central Alabama, mid 50s to low 50s across south Alabama on Saturday morning with highs only in the upper 70s. For today, just a routine summer day uh, as far as scattered afternoon storms. I know it's October, but we're still in that warm, humid pattern with a high around 88. And then the rain chances ramp up ahead of Michael, 50% daytime tomorrow, 90% tomorrow night, 70% chance early in the day, Thursday before we dry out, and the nice air comes in for Friday. Look at Saturday's high at 79, same thing Sunday with lows at night in the 50s. Also out in the tropics, we have more to talk about. There's Leslie still spinning around, but there's Invest 93L, which could eventually become Nadine, 90% chance of development. So the tropics continue to be very active. So all day long today, obviously, I'll keep you up to date on the latest information on Michael. We'll do that on your weather app, uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, on the radio, and every other way we can do it, including on television. We'll be on CBS 8 and ABC 32 with an update at 5.50 a.m. this morning. Ryan Stinnett and I will be talking about Michael. And, uh, of course, uh, throughout the day, there'll be more information live on the radio from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. We'll also be talking about Michael then and uh, your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family. Family of stations. Another important video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4:45 a.m. Stay weather aware and I'll keep you up to date. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas.
this weather. 